Zachary Show here, and welcome back to my Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough. My voice is not 100% right now, so it's going to be a little rough. In the last episode, Roxas accepted his fate that he is a part of Sora and allowed Sora, Donald, Goofy, and Jiminy to wake up from their sleep, and they encountered Mickey, who told them to board this purple train right here. So we're going to talk to them. Uh, this is going to be a long journey, so prepare yourself well. Get on the train, get on. There'll be a lot of cutscenes here. Okay, let's go. Bye. Hey, Sora, you sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. Huh? You okay? It, yeah. Don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. Right. See ya. The only reason I said the thing about the cutscenes is because I had to film this twice already because the microphone was underwater sounding. You know? I'm sad. We can visit Hainer and those guys again. Guess that's that. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So. You think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz... wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. I think that's Ansem, but I'm not entirely sure, and I'm blurry right now. Uh, trying my face closer to see if it 
picks me up again. No? Okay. Doesn't matter. But I'm pretty sure that was Ansem. Anyway, there's a really mysterious tower. I think that's what it's called, actually. But I'm going to make a small cut. Um, there goes our ride. Once it gives me control, just to make sure everything sounds good, and you're not going to notice any. Okay. Everything seems to sound okay enough for me. Um. This I should equip the stuff I have here, just to make sure we got everything good. Um, I want to make sure there's nothing behind me, because I always want to catch those things. I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master in his here towers as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh huh. Well. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything! And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her! Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is! You ought to find something nicer to do! Oh, says who? What? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? <laughs> You! So you're the ones that did it! Well, we might have had something to do with it. <sighs> Heartless Squad, round up! Yeah, so they're laughing because they defeated Maleficent in Kingdom Hearts 1. You can find that playthrough on my channel, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I've mentioned that already. In fact, I'm going to mention it again at the end of the video. It's the first time seeing these three in action, I think. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um. Fun facts, um, 
Yensid, spelled backwards, is Disney. I'm sure you could have figured that out by the subtitles, but I feel it's important to mention it. Donald is very intense. Wiping through these guys before I get a chance to do anything. Considered the still be in Twilight Town. I didn't know that. We don't have to fight these enemies, but I don't have a role. I'm so used to being able to roll. Oh, I can handle it. Yeah. So these must be the heartless that um. I do have the block button though. It's... Yeah. yeah. Right, so far as a breeze. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So the worlds aren't at peace after all. This must be where Yen Sid resides. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all 
is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Um, before I read the book, opening this chest, tower map, cool. Um, I guess I'll save again, too. We'll read the beginning. The beginning. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. Those are the, there are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness. Friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. You doubt the path trod thus far. When the, hand, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Let's read, uh, interlude. Interlude, a long dream. A sad farewell, hanging in the air, in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew with your steps. For there all for there all confusion will end. The future story. Will the day come when this battle, born of confusion, will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid. Entrust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over, and everything will begin. That book contains important knowledge. Be sure to read it. But wait a sec, how come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. <coughs> the heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, 
The empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of no body. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of Dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobody is function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. But what could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> So, I don't know why they're acting like they have to find Mickey. Didn't we just see Mickey at um, Twilight Town? All the mischief the king did years ago is reported here. Alright. What are these fairies? Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah! An image of you overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. An image of the Keyblade unleashing its ultimate power flows into your mind. An image of you possessing all abilities flows into your mind. An image of you utilizing your magic to its fullest flows into your mind. An image of you obtaining old powers flows into your mind. These are intriguing. Let's talk to these. Once you've changed, you're off. Yes, let's do it. 
Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Ah, would you just decide? Oh, oh. oh. well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Two Keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> your garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay. I'll do my best, and thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! Star Seeker Keyblade increases maximum combo by one when in midair. Valor Form. With Goofy's help, use the Drive Command to change into Valor Form. The Drive Command has been added. Gage and lower rays consumed for transformation. It is powerful as it absorbs party members' strength, but party members disappear while transformed. Okay. Let's... Form abilities are fixed. By leveling up a form, these abilities can be used even out of that particular form. When in a form, a second weapon can be equipped. One key bit blade with strength and abilities, and two key blades with strength and abilities. Require abilities and strength from both weapons. Okay, I see. So, what do we want to do? I have to remember how to do this. Oh, we want... Don't we want... How do I... Hmm. I'll give that to... Goofy. But I wanted to be able to swap keyblades. But whatever, I'll leave it the way it is, I guess. Okay. Now we're off, I think. Oh, uh, Sora, I think you dropped something. Huh? It must have fallen out of your pockets. 
What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should hold on to any other pieces you come across on your journey. I'll make sure to note them in my journal. You've obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. You can view collected pieces in Jiminy's journal. Awakening puzzle piece. Let's... We'd find Yen City has something else for us, apparently. I think. Ah. The gummy hey, ship. It's the gummy ship. So, you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the heartless and the nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How gets that for? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lutzen! We sure do appreciate the help. Okay, where's he going? My goodness, what's that? That's Maleficent's probe. Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. Maleficent! Ha 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 
<laughs> Howdy, Sora. How you doing? It's your favorite dummy engineers here, ready for duty. Chip. And Dale. Happy flying! Only one? That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Hollow Bastion. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save right here. And we're going to go to Hollow Bastion in the next episode. So make sure you like this video, you click subscribe down below. And if you missed any previous episodes of this or the Kingdom Hearts series as a whole, you can find them all in boxes around me. I've been Zachary Show, and I will see you next time.